exactly yeah, I guess so. well we can roll right in what's up guys good to see you welcome back to the pool trick podcast another episode and today we have becca what's up hi how's your day going good how's good. yours it's pretty good um we're like approaching a heat wave here in Sacramento, so it's mm-hmm. going to be like over 110 degrees for a couple of days. It's Labor Day. Yeah, Labor Day weekend <laughs> on Monday. <laughs> um, oh yeah, you have something later too today, huh? But I I know Becca just because we're uh, co-workers, so that's how we met pretty much, but um I just wanted to have her on because you're going to become a teacher, right? Um, so I'm going to do school psychology, but I was a teacher oh, for cool. a little bit. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. What grade? Kindergarten. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's sweet. What was yeah. that like? It was challenging. They're brutally honest. <laughs> yeah. Like brutally I honest. I have like little cousins <laughs> around that age. Yeah. So, so they'll tell you they're like... Kids will just tell you how it is, man. They oh, don't, yeah. They don't hold back. They don't know yet to like. <laughs> no. And they'll like, if I ever walked into work and I was like not appearing as my best, they'd be like, Miss Becca, like. Oh, no. Like, Why do you look like that? Oh, my God. <laughs> or like, you look different today. What's wrong? I'm like, okay. Thanks, Aubrey. <laughs> oh, my gosh. How many years did you teach kindergarten? Um, I was just doing it for one year, but it's because I wanted more experience when I was applying to programs for school psychology. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. So, um, is that kind of what you're passionate about? Just like psychology or is it just the teaching aspect? Like which part of you dr- dr- drove you to it the most? Like, um, I, so I really like helping people and even from like our job, like that we work at together, yeah. like I like serving people. Like it's really fun for me. Yeah. Um, but I like helping people. I like kids and I like the education system. Yeah. So and I feel like school psychology was kind of like the perfect blend of all of that. Yeah. And so. like you growing up, like your favorite teachers, did they like mean a lot to you? Like your favorite ones? Yeah. Like, that's I, how I was. Like the teachers that I liked, I like really like fu- like messed with them, you know? Like, yeah, definitely. No, I remember like all of my elementary school teachers, which is probably why I chose. I was like kindergarten would be fun yeah. um, because like all of my elementary school teachers were so awesome. But it takes a lot of work. And that is why I did realize, too, because I thought, like, oh, maybe I would like to be a teacher. But no, it's a lot of work. (sighs) Like, just the paperwork and stuff? or Just, like, outside of the hours, you still have to work. Like, you know, you're, like... You're you're a teacher outside mm -hmm. of it. Yeah, Yeah, so you're always constantly, like, lesson planning, making... um, Setting up, like, crafts for the next day. And kind of like your kids, in a way. Like, you're, like... Yeah, you know. exactly. Well, and my fiance, like he would come in and I would be, you know, painting um, dried pasta noodles because they look like bats for Halloween time. And he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, he's just like, and what? Like, the most Don't random. ask. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. that's hilarious. Yeah, because I, I know the teachers that were my faves. Like, it, they really mean a lot to like kids, especially if you're like growing up and stuff, because like, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe they don't maybe the teacher is the only one they can speak to or just like rant to or just like kind of connect with, you know. Mm -hmm. But what's hilarious, I think, is that like at our work, like for some reason, all the kids are like attracted to Becca. Like they just I I don't know. I always see the kids come (laughs) up to you and like ask you for the stuff. Oh, they oh, probably just think were you, you there like, last night yeah. when the- <laughs> yeah their kids were like asked yeah. for the wi-fi password asking or something. for the wi-fi password i know well and then there was that one uh little boy i don't know i you might have been the buster that night too yeah and there was a little boy who was sitting in a high chair at the end of the table and he kept like holding on to my arm as no i would like way. yeah i would like be talking to the table <laughs> how young was he? like asking he was probably like one or two oh. like couldn't talk for sure that's so sweet and he's just sitting there and i would like slowly start to feel like this little hand like <laughs> wrap around my arm and I was like got scared at first I was like what is that and then he was like reaching and then all of a sudden he's like hugging onto my arm yeah and I was like that's so cute kids are so cute that's so so cute do Mm -hmm. you think one day you're gonna have kids is a possibility oh yeah for sure I'm very I feel like my point of view of like family and relationship and stuff is pretty traditional like yeah like picture perfect like just kind of like 
yeah, like being with uh, the same person for the rest of your life and like golden wanting retriever, a family. Picket fence. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, not golden retriever, probably like a pointer or oh, like okay. something like All that. Right. I like those dogs. Now we're talking. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but I've also like my fiance now and I, we've been together for seven years. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Super yeah. Long time. So a really long time. He's you like in high school or yeah. after? Yeah. We met my junior year of high school. Wow. Well, freshman year, but like we were friends for a really long time and we actually like became boyfriend and girlfriend like junior year oh, of high school. Little shout out. That's so sweet. I know. Love <laughs> you. <laughs> what? So, um, oh yeah, like I want to know what, what do you think the secret to just like a healthy relationship is? Like, do you think it's like communication? Do you think it's like intimacy? Like always. Because there's so many factors of it, really. It's, like, everything. I don't know. I don't think I have, like, the perfect answer for the question. Because a lot of people actually ask me. Like, they're like, well, how do you, like, stay interested? Or, like, how do you, like, keep, like, a relationship for that long? Yeah. And I don't know. I think, like, the biggest thing is probably... We just, like, communicate really well with yeah, each other. Yeah, like, you're always real. Yeah. You're always, like, look, this is the deal. Mm-hmm. Like, this is what I'm going through or Yeah, whatever. definitely. Well, and also, I think that it's really important, and a lot of people don't do this now, I feel like. And it's almost, you have to, like, be your own person, but together, you know? Right. Like, you have to be able to still hold yourself as an individual yeah, while being in a relationship exactly. with someone else. Yeah. And so, like, I go on girls' trips, and, like, he goes on guys' trips, and yeah. I'll have girls' nights, and he'll go hang out with his friends, and it's never like we're... I mean, I'm obsessed with him. He's so cool. But it's not like we're you like... You don't trip. All, yeah. yeah I mean, we're like all the time needing to be together. Dude, because I've struggled with, with that. Like, because it's hard if you're kind of in a relationship and it's hard to like not become this just one person. Just like, you know, yeah. like, and, and it is like, it seems good at first, but then you realize it's unhealthy because it's like, okay, we have to be our own person. Like, oh, you definitely. know, because like a healthy relationship is two happy people that can be happy by themselves and like do their like you do that he does his own yeah. thing like well and it was kind of like different too because i went to college my undergraduate degree at sonoma state and mm-hmm. he stayed local so he stayed here in sacramento um so we were oh, long wow, distance yeah. for four years yeah so, and you would visit mm-hmm, and so yes and just like weekend visits and uh trips when you can and like i had mentioned to you earlier like i was in a sorority so we would have formals and dances and, and parties things, and parties exactly, yeah. yeah and so he would come out for that stuff and it was just kind of like he was comfortable with me like establishing myself as an individual and like knowing who I was as a person exactly and he did the same and so it was just kind of like we grew up together as individuals but like we like to live together like we like like to be together (laughs) I feel like yeah because then it's um then it's like yeah you gotta do you both gotta do your own thing and it's like I bet it felt like natural and right also, right? Mm. Because it's like you you both don't trip. Like a healthy relationship, the two people aren't like tripping like, oh my God, like are they cheating on me? Like the insecurities and stuff like that. Or like, oh my gosh, they hugged a person that was (laughs) like a girl Yeah. (laughs) on my list. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Yeah, no, it's not like that at all. Yeah, so I think you just got to be like – because at the end of the day, do you want to like your partner because they're like you? Or do you want to like your partner because they're, like you like them, who they are, yeah. you know? You don't want to, like, mesh Mush together, together, you yeah. know? Exactly. Yeah, that's that's really cool. So are you currently in school or you're not? Okay. Yeah, And then <laughs> Still. what's, like, the degree or whatever you're after? Um, So I'm in a three-year program. It's kind of, like... It's, like, a lot to explain. But, like, I'm in a three-year program. I already have a bachelor's degree. Um, I did one year now in this new program, and now I have my master's in counseling psychology. Mm -hmm. And so I have two more years, and then I will have an education specialist degree, so an EDS degree um, for school psychology. So is an EDS or whatever, like, the last one? Or if you Um, become a, a... phd you have to like yeah so the other thing that i could do is get an edd so an educational doctorate right um but i don't want to do that i don't you only really need that 
at least from my perspective and like what my professors tell me, you only really need that if you want to be like a professor at a college. Yeah. But like I don't really... super high level. Yeah. yeah. Like giant classes. Yeah. Like... like big classes, like those like stadium seating, like type of Dude, that things. would be so much pressure. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Not my, th- like I said, teaching, not my thing. <laughs> yeah. And like, I've, I know it's so much pressure because I've been like, um, a jerk like pranking giant like i've pranked like j- the biggest college like lectures just, oh my like, gosh no i, I actually... like vaped in one i like yeah it was yeah. so i know it's a lot of like well... i look up to <laughs> teachers you know because i like filmed so much stupid stuff which well, is funny <laughs> and that's why i wanted to ask you about that because i was thinking like oh like i'm nervous to come on this podcast but like you seem like somebody that would never get nervous like to do anything because you do those like pranks and right. stuff yeah. like that seems i would crumble and you know what's the funniest thing i grew up like the most shy kid ever really like, yeah <laughs> like <laughs> i couldn't when i was a kid i was super shy i couldn't speak to people like i remember uh i love like uh veterans like just war veterans Mm because I love like hearing their story and just thanking them so when I was a kid my mom would I was too shy to like talk to them so my mom would like go up to them be like (laughs) oh and like my son over there he wants to talk to you so that's so funny so it's definitely something I like grew out of like but yeah I'd even try to I just like pushed myself outside the box and it just naturally kind of made me more social I guess yeah yeah what's okay I want to know your dream like grade to teach like is it kindergarten or maybe elementary so in right now like um, my internship so when I do school psychology I work with like clusters of ages so it can be like elementary it can be preschool middle school or high school wow so it can and so yeah so it can vary kind of like by the chunking of like those age groups but I thought for the longest time that I loved elementary school and I was like that's like where I want to be but then I actually got placed at a high school in Stockton and yeah I was at Stag High School wow shout out Stag (laughs) um it was very different than being in Sacramento but it actually made me really like high school like I really like talking Hmm. to high school kids which I thought was going to be something That was a challenge for me because I do, I feel like I physically look pretty young still. So they can relate to you the most, maybe. But that was like my thing. Like, I didn't want them to relate to me too much. You wanted to maintain your (laughs) professionalism. Yeah, I wanted to be like, I'm an adult. Like, I'm I'm the adult in this situation. Like, I'm Because that can turn negative very fast. If you're too, like, lenient and just like. Well, and so that's the thing. It was like, you got to choose. Are you either, when you dress to, like, go to the high school, like, are you either going to dress like a mom or are you going to dress like a business attire in heels and like things like that? Yeah. Because it's like if I do anything that's not of that sort, I will look like a high school student. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I for sure did like on multiple occasions. <laughs> I actually had another internship when I was at Sonoma State. I was leaving my internship. I was under the guidance counselor. So I did like counseling for at-risk youth. Oh, okay. And (laughs) I was leaving. I had my badger on my neck, but I also carried a backpack and I had like just regular clothes on and I was leaving the school. The principal chased me down through the parking lot thinking I was a student Ditching? leaving. Oh my God. Yeah. So it was like running after me and it was like, Hey, oh Hey, <laughs> so running grabs the back of my wrist and like turns me around. And she was like, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Dude, that's <laughs> And so I was funny. like home. And I like held up my badge. Like I work there. And, like, and she I'm was so like, sorry. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. She was like, if anything, take it as a compliment. You look very that's, young. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and I was like, okay, like, thank you. Yeah. But yeah. So she quickly made it nice. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so got to present like more maturely when I'm at school. <laughs> that's so funny. Do you think for most beginning teachers, like just kind of in general, like what do you think is more difficult like because i see like teaching high school it can be like more difficult but then like each pro has a con like the kids will be easier in this way Mm -hmm. but like what do you think is like the hardest well like so 
I think one of the hardest things about elementary school that I've realized after like my first year of experience is that you're dealing with kids because what a school psychologist does is basically test students for disabilities like learning disabilities so I get students referred to me if they're struggling academically for some um, odd reason yeah and then I'm kind of like I act kind of like as like a detective and I administer different tests to see like, do they have a reading disability? Do they have a learning to or figure like, it out. Yeah, yeah. Like, are they like ADHD and that's affecting them to focus? So that's why they have like low math scores and things like that. Yeah. So I basically test them for these different things, but along with testing, like I have to then tell their parents, like what parent wants to hear, like your child has a learning disability, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, so that's kind of like the struggle More challenging with, part. yeah, the struggle with elementary, but the benefit of elementary is you can catch it early. Yeah. So like you can help and help the person mm -hmm, yeah. and you can change like that student's perspective of school for the rest of like the time, because like if you catch somebody with ADHD in first grade, that's going to help them like succeed academically for the rest of their life and maybe even socially too because like they know what they have and like yeah. how to manage it but it's like you tell somebody like when they're a junior in high school that like oh you have like ADHD but this is how we can help and this is how we can fix it you know like a switch kind of already went in their mind and yeah. they're like no it's, and it's not more difficult to change because I yeah. can relate to that a lot because when I was growing up I have like really bad dyslexia so growing mm -hmm. up we were kind of like we kind of knew but I don't think we took it as serious like it, you know yeah. I could have been approached better to school it kind of deterred me off and like I don't like school yeah but I can see it helping like it's like anything like catching it early is the best like it's like it goes with like most things yeah mm -hmm, exactly then it benefits the student and yeah. stuff yeah well and because like it just like tarnishes a little bit of your experience if you don't know like because then you just think like oh your teachers hate you you think that like people don't want to hang out with you or like right they don't want to teach you yeah they think exactly. you're a problem yeah yeah so it's like that's like the benefit of like elementary school high school it's just easier to relate to students and like you can build better rapport so that's easier but then like I was talking about earlier me being young right now like I think high school would probably be better for me if I was in like my 30s like maybe transition to high school in my 30s yeah once you get more experience yeah on your belt. maybe I'll grow <laughs> <laughs> what I don't high know. school did you go to I don't know I went to Casa oh okay mm -hmm. what okay. did you go to I went to full time oh Aiden really and I <gasps> and Skylar and like yeah wait so are you you and Skylar, are you the same grade? No, she was two years below me, I want to oh, say. Okay. We didn't even know each other in high school. Like, we didn't even interact or anything. Oh, yeah. okay. Can, wait, can I ask you if you know somebody, but I don't know if yeah. they'd want to be on In my year? No, I, I don't mind. Okay. Um. Well, I don't know if they would want me. Oh, to that's true. Yeah. Hmm. You no, try first think. name only? Maybe I'll type know. it. Oh, no, I don't have my phone. Uh, I was like, maybe I'll type it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll ask you after. <laughs> yeah, after. We don't want to, like put random people mentioned. yeah like, i probably shouldn't <laughs> yeah because we don't know if they're like i don't want to be on that podcast yeah like, um, i don't know i guess i should have asked permission probably before but <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite what subject uh are you most passionate about like what out of all the school subjects like what do you like the most just like for you like like learning about or whatever um i really really liked english Oh, okay. I liked creative writing. Creative writing, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, I liked writing. Is that something you also, you just also kind of did well in, like, kind of, you realized you enjoyed it, so it was, yeah. like, good? Well, you know, so <laughs> it's funny because, actually, I was really good at history, but I hated history. <laughs> I uh -huh. didn't like it, but I was just, like, good at, good it. at it, so yeah. it was one of those things. English, I had to, like, work a little bit harder at math. No, yeah <laughs> not math. but English like I just enjoyed it and I because I enjoyed it I think that helped me like be good at it so I did like that yeah and it was kind of mm -hmm. like more of a challenge like history you were just kind of good at but then like yeah that's cool history I like world history but yeah. like U.S. history I don't really like that much yeah <laughs> it's it's there's not much right like other countries are way more yeah. just older and way more history but mm -hmm. yeah history is my favorite I always like did super good and that's like what that's what I like I'm not in school now but I like 
re I, i'm always like researching history and stuff i'm super mm-hmm. like fascinated yeah. by it and stuff. so history was yours yeah history yeah. was what i did well in the most but i'm the same like math i'm just useless at but math is hard math is hard and i feel like the people that are super good at math like they're just lucky like they don't try at all they're <laughs> yeah. just like what like it's so easy i'm just like what like mm-hmm. how well and i think too like math i don't think that math is like very good for abstract thinkers and like people that like to be like you just think outside the box a little bit because if you think about it math is like formulas plugging in numbers like yeah it's like a a lot of memorization but like you like you're creative with like your podcast and everything and like i don't like to like stay in the lines like i'd rather you know be more abstract with it so i think that math just doesn't work for that but i think like english and like history that's like more fun things right i want to know what What's the coolest place you've been to? Have you been, like, outside the USA? I have. So probably, like, the coolest place. Or maybe, like, the most different place, I guess, that I've been. So I'm Romanian. Okay. I don't know if you know that. That's, like, your, um, most yeah. of what your ethnicity half. is? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, my dad was born in Romania, came to the U.S., oh, I wow. think. Yeah, when I didn't he know was... he was an immigrant. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. So he, I think he came when he was 13. 12 or 13 oh, okay. um mm-hmm. so he went he, to mesa so he grew up old enough to have an accent still right yeah but that's the thing though lost it? you could like talk to my dad and have no idea yeah that, that's like, my guess yeah if anything, when you spend 40 you know yeah no if years. if you saw like him you'd think he's just like some country hick because <laughs> mm-hmm. you would not be able to know that he's from romania but his brother is like i think two years older than him holds the accent like wow. he has an accent, but my dad doesn't. So I don't. He stayed or he nope. later. He nope. came later, same age. No, no, they weren't huh. the same age. He's like two years older. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I don't know if like that would be something cool to like look at. If... Did the two years give yeah, him that? Yeah, did the two accent? years make him have like an accent or not? But mm. I don't know. But yeah, so the coolest place probably Romania. But wow. I went when I was in kindergarten, so I was really oh, young, so but you I barely... still remember. Oh, okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah, I still that, remember. That's a cold country right like in most of the time it snows or, um yeah. but no i think they get like a good four seasons mm-hmm. um i don't remember off the top of my head but it was very when i went it was very poverty struck um mm. i think it's a little bit better now but my grandparents have like a really cool story of like how they made it to the u.s like my grandfather he snuck out because it was kind of like communist russia was kind of invading over oh, back in the time like yeah. when they were gonna come over to the united states so it was just super strict mm-hmm. right and so like my grandpa snuck to germany wow got on like he was he, they're not allowed to leave at the mm-hmm. time right yeah, yeah no so he like went to germany they got on he made a run for trains it. <laughs> yeah some boats and stuff came to the u.s went to indiana um sending money to like my family in romania before they could come to kind of get them ready to come to the u.s but like soldiers would come into their house and like be like where is he like where'd he go oh my gosh isn't that crazy and this is like the 80s like 70s 70s yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. that's insane yeah yeah 70s and 80s about but yeah isn't that crazy yeah that's that's pretty wild yeah but yeah so romania is probably the coolest place yeah it's cool yeah like has like um dracula's castle and like yeah, all of that over so there cool. transylvania like, yeah mm-hmm. dude i found this about the other day but did you know that like technically you can walk from america to russia and back like really i, I didn't know it but it's oh. like a lake that freezes and it freezes oh. so hard that like people have done it before they've just walked like across like no. i never knew that like i never knew that well also this is kind of probably embarrassing to admit but i also didn't know that alaska was attached to canada for like the longest time yeah i thought it was <laughs> i thought it was just floating out i thought it was <laughs> its own thing yeah like i thought it was its yeah. own thing like hawaii but no it's not well that's embarrassing to admit <laughs> but yeah <laughs> yeah no that's crazy it's like so weird to think like like the u.s and russia are so just like opposites like just societally oh yeah yeah different world so it's like you can walk from the one place to another (laughs) but i've been to like spain 
Oh, like Barcelona cool. is so nice. That's so nice. Europe. Europe is a great place to yeah. travel. Barcelona. Like Spain has all the super like old churches and cathedrals and just yeah. like, it's just like, whoa, like the, who built this? It's just I know, giant. the ceilings and the like the glass windows too. Yeah. So cool. Where is the place that you'd want to go that you haven't been yet? Um... I really want to go to like maybe Japan or something cool, something mm-hmm. like super out there, like New Zealand or just like something yeah. wild. Like, mm-hmm. I have a friend who I met in college at Sonoma, and she is super independent and loves to travel. She went on like a ninety-day um, solo trip over. Australia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, wow. completely backpacked and traveled by herself, like That's solo. That's insane. Isn't that That'd so be cool? So much fun. Like scary, but also I know, so like, freeing. She's like, right, like liberating. She's so independent. Like, have you ever I wish... done that? Have you ever done a solo flight? No, I've done it once. So the last oh, a solo flight. Yeah. No, I don't even think a flight. Yeah, I've only done it once. Like the only the last time I went to Ireland. And it was like, it was, it was Ireland. Oh, your family's from there. Yeah. Isn't that, yeah. I think I was talking that's to Aiden one time. That's where they're both immigrants from. Yeah, yeah that's but, so cool. But like, it was like, it, it, I got over the like scariness of it. Cause it's just like, so you feel like it, that's like the maximum, like freeing, like I'm an adult, like I'm on a, I'm on a plane like mm-hmm. going to another country by myself right yeah now, right? well that's a long flight too isn't it it's super yeah, long so you're just hanging out well if you do it <laughs> if i i was the last time i stopped at jfk but if you do it the one way fly it's like i think it's like 22 hours maybe or maybe oh, yeah. less maybe less i think like new zealand's like 22 hours yeah i think it's like 19 but it's like it's pretty much a whole day on a plane like yeah have you ever done that like when you went when you went to Romania yeah to Romania we did but it was different I remember my family had like the four middle aisle seats because like when you go on those overnight flights they're like double decker like planes that just shuttle people yeah Um, so there was like the sections on the outside of the plane the rows and then there was the center row and then me and my mom and my brother and my dad all had the four center seats And I remember I have a memory of like waking up from sleeping and me and my brother are like laying down on the seats Uh and my parents are both standing (laughs) like in the aisles. Oh, they're so nice. Right. Talk about being a parent. So your mom's just American or? Yep. My mom's from Oregon. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So not, I I thought she was going to be a Californian. Oh, no. My parents actually met. So in a billiards hall in Roseville. Wow. Yeah, it's still up. I forget the exact name of it. That's so funny. Yeah, still a pool hall. And my mom walked in and she was like, that guy's going to be my husband. And then whoa, ended up being her husband. Isn't that crazy? Like just from his looks? Yeah, just from his looks. Like she was like, "Mm, yeah. yeah. (laughs) That's so funny. (laughs) That's hilarious. Isn't yeah. Dutch Bros from Oregon, I want to say? It is. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. There's like some like, there's like unique businesses from there. Like it's, yeah. it's a cool estate. Like, yeah. My fiance works at Dutch Bros. Oh, he does? Yeah. Which Did one? you know that? No. Oh, I thought you were trying to make like a natural segue I, into another I, thing. I was segueing without realizing it. Which yeah. one does he work at? Uh, the ones on Manzanita. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's so funny. But he's worked at the one that's on Kenneth, so like across from BV, and he's also uh, worked at the one on San Juan. Oh wow. Yeah, so like what? San Juan and Madison. He's worked other places, right? Or um, yeah, he has. Uh, or like, what? What's his like thing that he does? Like, what Dutch is his Bros. passion? He wants to. Re- he's like business mindset. Oh, so like okay. he that's his goal is to like have his own Dutch Bros. Like Wow. Mm-hmm. That's uh, yeah. that's awesome. He's pretty on track for it. He's Did got he like, like a couple years business in business and one. college or whatever. Yeah. He's nice. still in school. He's um at the Oregon State um online business school. Wow. So he does that. That's cool. Mhm. Have you been to many states or not really? Um a couple, but I don't count the ones that I've just like stopped in on like flight layovers, yeah, you know, I that don't count, count those. It's not- yeah, I've been to like everything on the West Coast. I went to Hawaii, love Hawaii, Texas. Did So did you and your fiance have your honeymoon yet or not? No, we haven't got married. 
Oh yeah, oh, I'm so I I always forget dude, that it's like is it before or after marriage? I'm, yeah, I'm like maybe we could have an engagement moon. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. We do you, make do you guys thing. know where the honeymoon's gonna be? Oh, I don't. know. He's very big on like Turks and Caicos and like Maldives and oh, stuff like that. Okay. But like, I would be fine with going to like Hawaii. Hawaii. I would be fine. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Have you That's been there? Sweet. No, never. You've been there before? Mm-hmm. Damn. Like so multiple good. times? Or yeah. Like, wow. Only to Maui, though. Oh. But okay. I, I feel like I could have only seen Maui in Hawaii. Is Maui the, the Pearl Harbor Island or which one? Is, no. I forget I, which one it is. I don't think it's Maui. I think it's another one. Because that's like one, a but... big, that's one of the bigger tourist attraction mm-hmm. places, yeah. right? Like, because it was so, such a big event. Yep. It was like. December 7th, right? I think so. History. 1941, <laughs> I think. I don't know. Ooh, maybe. Right? World War Two, World yeah. War One. World War Two. Yeah. yeah. History buff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Hawaii is awesome. You should go there. Yeah. But I don't know about the honeymoon. I like barely know about the engagement party right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you have a lot on your mind. Mm-hmm. I feel like I would, I would be such an open-minded person with my honeymoon. Like I would like anywhere, like Tahoe, like right no matter where i'm in like yeah well i'm also kind of into like the whole elopement like i think eloping would be totally fun that's what i want our photos to look like i want it to be very 50s that'd be fun black and white like yeah. old car like I think you both cool. wear the old stuff yeah old car. that'd mm-hmm. be sick i think I my parents people. did that they used to do like 1930s yeah. stuff i think take like a cool picture driving away in like an old car tie some cans on the back <laughs> yeah, of it the just married yeah thing. exactly that'd, I think be, that'd so be so cool. funny mm-hmm. do you you don't have a dog right now or you do no i don't have any pets uh, but i grew up with a bunch i've uh, had probably like in my family i think we've probably had like seven dogs wow are you a big dog person um i love dogs yeah i'm not so much a cat person are you a cat person um i like both but i i like dogs better oh really like, but i still like cats like you know yeah <laughs> yeah i'm the rare both because yeah. you either you know mm-hmm. yeah yeah there's an in-between i know i i like some some cats but yeah mainly a dog person we've always had my dad and my brother are like avid hunters and like fishermen people outdoorsmen so, yes yeah. exactly so cool. all of our dogs that we've had have been uh working dogs except for my little wow. yorkie that i got when Aww. i was like eight years old that's cool though because because <laughs> then like those dogs are fit like they're oh yeah you, like they're the, they're it's, working dogs it's I like t- the healthiest for the dog yeah. if it, like it's not like sitting around eating food exactly like, well they were all walker hounds so like oh, long ears wow. and like really athletic builds yeah. yeah and so yeah they would run around we always had property in our houses so we would set up kennels for them and then they could just like roam around when they weren't working but i taught right. one to fetch one time and my dad got so upset he's like they're not like a play dog like they're <laughs> yeah. working dogs no <laughs> like, fetch, yeah. yeah and i was like what is so cute that's so, hilarious yeah do you uh, have animals? I don't. I used to have dwarf hamsters, but then I got rid of them. Dwarf hamsters. That's a very specific. Yeah, very specific. <laughs> They're little like snowballs. They were so cute. I had one too. I think uh, when I was younger and his name was Hammy. Oh, that's cute. Hammy. Well, at my parents' place, we have like a, a Russian box tortoise that like lives in our backyard. Oh. That's really cool. He lives to like 80. He's like yeah. around 20s. Is he huge? No, no. It's literally oh, like, like that, that size. Big. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've seen like those massive ones. Dude, yeah. Those ones are insane. so cool. Their shells are insane. Yeah. That's you crazy. can actually tell the age by the shell. Like a tree? Isn't that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't like know that. Yeah, like the of a tree. It's cool. That's really cool. When do you... So are you guys living separate places like you and your mans? Mm-mm. No, we Same actually, place. we live at really close to here. We live, so you know, like the Hazel exit of 50? Oh, yeah. Yeah, apartments right over yeah, there. Yeah, those apartments, nice. Mm-hmm. Are you going to, like, are you anytime soon, would you get a dog together? Or yeah, like... I would love one. He's like a big lab person. Oh, okay. Labrador, yeah. He likes those. I told him that's, that's such a basic dog. Why would we want that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm down. I like them. They're cute. I told him that if he wants to get one of those, he needs to get like a silver one. Right. Like a silver, like a unique, like colored one. But he likes chocolate labs. So. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Um. So I want to ask like how, what made you 
lo- like learn that you love teaching like what made you at an early age like w- how old were you when you realized oh my gosh like this is what I love to do and kind of like that's when you made the decision like to pursue it kind yeah. of like um, did you always know or like no I definitely didn't always know I was like the type of kid that said they wanted to be a marine biologist like oh, when they were okay. young you know like one of those like oh yeah a marine biologist or an astronaut or like something cool like that yeah so i honestly i didn't really know until i was like in college like my first year of college or no wow. probably like senior year of high school i like knew that i wanted to do psychology and then like throughout my college experience i think i realized that i enjoyed working with kids and that i enjoyed like helping people so it was kind of like a learning process for myself to realize it it wasn't just kind of like an aha moment that i realized i'd like to do it but yeah i think it was just kind of a process and i think that i did figure out probably a lot later in life than most people do i guess yeah but i think that's okay yeah well (laughs) For for people listening, like especially the girls too, um, if so, let's say like girls, they're out there and they're listening to it and they're like looking at you like wow, like she really knows what she likes to do. How do you think, pe- girls, specifically can like l- find out like what their passion is? Like, would you? Just, what's your advice on that? Like, do you think do you re- recommending just like explore and like try everything and see what you like or like hmm. good question um because i feel like that's the best i feel like for people finding out like what you want to do with your life like you just just try everything try painting try like yeah you know. um i think something that really helped me was like if i was curious about something i like looked into it so, like, if there was something that I thought that I wanted to do, I'd at least, like, try it. Yeah. Or, like... Or at least check it out. Yeah, give yeah. it a go or research it a little bit. I thought for the longest time, like, when I was thinking about psychology, I thought that I wanted to go, like, a therapy route. I originally thought I wanted to do alcohol and substance abuse counseling. Wow. Right? Yeah. That's, like, totally different so from what helpful. I'm doing now. <laughs> Well, but that's the thing is, like, I felt I didn't have any personal experiences. Like, of course, I have, like, parents or not parents, but, like, adults in my life that I know who have struggled with addiction yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, but you yourself felt... But me, myself, like, and I feel like if I'm going to be sitting in a circle talking to people about, like, these issues and I personally don't have any self-experience with it, it's kind, kind of, like, of who's to say? Yeah, like, how... Like, yeah yeah like you can't oh speak on that. Yeah. you're telling me to not have a drink but you still go on the weekends and you drink exactly. like you don't have a problem like you know it's kind yeah. of like well who are you to say so switch so that just, up so just go so yeah if they're curious about anything like in the slightest degree like at least check it out or like at least yeah. like google it and stuff yeah. like, you know i feel Try like that it, helps out give it a go um And then if you do it for, like, two years and you're like, oh, yeah, this is what I want to do. And then in, like, your third year you realize, "Mm, I don't want to do that. Then switch it anyway. Don't, like, just stick in it. Don't be afraid to back out. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. Because, like, why should you? Like, why should you be miserable if you don't want to do something and you thought? I think that that happens a lot, too, is, like, people will say that they want to go to law school or people will say that they want to go to med school or something. And then they're like two years in it and they're like, this is miserable. Like I don't want to do this. I feel like there's a lot of like almost guilt sometimes, maybe a little bit of embarrassment if you like don't want to do it anymore. But like, why? Yeah. Like why would you be embarrassed or like upset to upset the people around you when it's like, they're not the ones that are going to be sitting in a like courtroom for like a million (laughs) hours a day. They're not going to be the ones that are looking at people's scrapes and bruises. Like, you know, you should do it for you. So even if you're going to be embarrassed. I think that's great advice. I also, I always tell people this. um, I always say it will come to you when you least are tripping about it. You know, like, like the more you worry about, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do with my life. I don't know what my passion is. I don't want know what career I want to pursue. It's like the thing I tell people most is like, you can't, like when you're tripping about it, it's not going to come to you. Like the less you worry and the more you just try things and put yourself out there. Like, it, like you said, if you're curious, mm-hmm. check things out. I feel like that's more beneficial for people like who are kind of lost because in high school I was like so lost like it took me 
Well, I, I always did YouTube and I always did videos, but I didn't really like when I was approaching 18, um, it took me until I was 18 to really, okay. Like that's when I made like the de decision, like I'm mm -hmm. pursuing, like making videos, like yeah. this is what I want to, that's when I realized that was my passion. So, um, cause I know high school is tough. Like, isn't it so weird once you're outside of high school, it's like a different world. It's, it's like, welcome to the real world. Like, oh, yeah. cause when you're in it, it's just the universe to you but then like yeah. kids qu real quick they'll gets, realize like, it's like so small when you're in high school like yeah. your world is so small because you see the same people for the same reasons every single day yeah and yeah and that's really hard and then you get to college and you realize nobody cares about popularity <laughs> exactly nobody cares about like and then when we, groups of people and yeah. things like that and when you see people from your school like once you're done with high school you realize oh my gosh like it was nothing you know like yeah and then you'll notice too that like certain people will be doing great like you know and you'll be like you'll feel so good and happy for them and then like there's the people unfortunately where you're like oh my you know like you're like they're not doing too great. good yeah <laughs> exactly good for you yeah no exactly that's super funny did you grow up local yes i am from like citrus heights oh and, okay. like orangeville area okay sweet yeah, I wasn't sure. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, oh, I, I forgot to say, but thanks so much for coming. Oh, yeah. And being thanks a guest. for having me. This was such a fun experience. I've never done a podcast before. Yeah, Becca's first podcast. Yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. We're on all platforms, so you can check us out on Spotify and stuff. Just type in Pull Trick Podcast and you'll find us. And then, oh, yeah, uh, merch is still live. I'm going to hook you and your fiance up with shirts. I'm so excited. So, yeah, merch is live. So, go pick up a shirt and i have a uh, sticker packs also um just on poultry.com so get on the site if you want to support the pod and um oh do you want to plug your insta or not it's up to you i, I yeah. always let okay <laughs> sorry guys sorry. this is all you'll get <laughs> yeah. from becca but, i'm on private anyways so it's not like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's not like it's searchable really <laughs> yeah well i'm kind of happy because i've realized with having guests like i'm seeing more people that like aren't on social media so it kind of like actually makes it, it makes me happy i'm like it's like <laughs> good like you know yeah because <laughs> there's there's negatives and pros to it so i've taken so many breaks like we're er, cut where it's like nothing but oh really yeah where like for... i drop all of it like i've done that before like cleanses and stuff oh yeah so i recommend mm -hmm. that guys if you're on tiktok a little bit too much right yeah um, me. <laughs> but yeah thanks again for coming of and course. hope you guys enjoyed we will see you in the next episode yeah later <laughs> nice that was so much fun yes i had so Thank you.